This video is sponsored by KH Camera. Everyone's currently super hyped about the X106, which they should be because it's an amazing camera, but what if you're not trying to spend $1,600? Let's talk about some alternatives to the X106 that will give you nearly the same experience. Starting out with one of my absolutely favorite cameras, which is the X-T30 or X-T30 II. This small powerhouse of a camera is probably the best alternative to the X106, mainly because of its form factor. It's extremely small, easily fits into a pocket, and if you pair it up with a pancake lens, you have almost the same look as the X106. Clearly it's more an SLR style camera than a rangefinder, but again, you can get it in a nice silver color and get that same exact retro look. Honestly, in my opinion, the X-T30 is slept on. Like when I had it, and honestly, I only sold it because I needed something to fit my needs as a content creator better, like the X-T30 would be the one that I used instead of the X-106. It has a built-in flash just like the X-106, and also you get the benefit of interchangeable lenses. So if you wanna rock out with a 56 f1.2 and get that nice blurred out background for some portraits, you can do that. Or you can just install something small like a pancake lens like the 28 or the 18 and just carry it around as a travel camera. Now, as far as price, the X-T32 right now is going for $900 or $750 used. So again, you're saving yourself a whole lot. And clearly there are some features you're missing from the X106, but sometimes getting the latest and greatest isn't the best option for your bank account. Speaking of your bank account and used cameras, the best place to get used cameras in great quality condition is this video's sponsor, KH Camera. KH Camera is one of the best places to get new to you gear, used gear in amazing condition, film cameras, digital cameras, and honestly, just about anything you're looking for. Since we're talking about the X-T30, I was actually just searching on KEH and it looks like they have a couple of them if you wanna grab one. They do really well at showing exactly the condition of the camera, which y'all know when it comes to buying cameras, especially film cameras, sometimes it's really hard to know the real condition of the camera. This is why I love KEH so much. I bought a used lens from them and when I got it, it basically looked new. I didn't even know it was used at all. And their grading system lets you know exactly the condition of the gear that you're purchasing. Now, if you have old gear that you wanna get rid of, you can do that with KH Camera as well. Jump online with one of their specialists. They'll take a look at your gear, give you a quote, you send it to them and get paid. This is the greatest way to upgrade your gear to something else. Or if you're not using the camera you have with you, get something better that will better suit your needs. Make sure to check out the link in the description below to get a 5% bonus on selling and buying gear with KEH camera. Let's keep talking about the X-T30 too. So aside from the beautiful form factor, the interchangeable lenses and the great price on the X-T30, it also has all of the same film sims. Now clearly some of the newer film sims the X-T30 is not gonna have, but one of the biggest pull to Fujifilm cameras are its film sims. Getting a nice film-esque look out of your camera in JPEG is easy to do with any Fujifilm camera. So if you're new to Fujifilm cameras and you think that the only way to get those great looks is out of the X106, I'm here to tell you, you can actually do it with every single one of their cameras. The film sims are one of the biggest things that got me to use Fujifilm cameras. And especially when I'm shooting with my family, like I'm out at the beach or just hanging out, it's nice to be able to set up a film sim, shoot it in JPEG and not have to edit. I'm a wedding photographer. I edit thousands of photos all the time. When I'm shooting for myself, I like to be able to just take the photos and get the result. So you still have the great film sims, even in the X-T30. So in my opinion, if you're really looking for a camera to replace the X-106 with a good retro look, great features and amazing photos, the X-T30 is gonna be it. And again, you can get it for almost half the price of the X-106. The next camera that I think is also a great option as a replacement for the X-106 is the X-S20. The X-S20 is a little bit more expensive, coming in at around $1299 or 1200 used. However, you're getting a lot of features. The X-S20 is kind of like a baby X-H2S, so it has 6K, open gate video, it has interchangeable lenses, it has IBIS, it has all of the stuff you would need to make video content. 
on top of great photos as well. One big advantage to the X106 is there's an actual deeper grip. So if you want a camera that may not have that classic retro look to it, but feels good in the hands, the XS20 is gonna be it. Also, if you're personally like me and like more of an SLR style camera, rather than a rangefinder, this is where the XS20 comes in as well. Also like with the X-T30, you have interchangeable lenses, so you can do all type of content if needed. When I got the XS20, it was mainly to have a small camera that I could take around with me, not only for photos, but also video content. So recently when I went to Japan, this was the main camera I was using and it was the perfect flex. I can put a pancake lens on it, take great photos, I could put a small zoom lens on it and use it for video content. And also as per usual, you get the same amazing film sims. So the XS20 right now is one of the main cameras I use. Actually, it gets the most use out of all my cameras, again, because I'm a content creator, but I love this camera. I take it with me when I'm hanging out with my family, when I go on trips, and it's just all around, I think, the best camera for anyone who's doing multimedia, photo and video. XS20 hands down for a cheaper video camera that can do everything that you would want it to do. Now, clearly I know some of y'all are watching this thinking, well, the X106 has all these other features and I get it. The things you're gonna be missing out on with not getting the X106 is gonna be that 40 megapixel sensor, which is an amazing sensor. I'm using it right now in my X-T5 and the photos look absolutely amazing. Also, because of the 40 megapixel camera, you can digitally punch in on your photos push it more to a 26 megapixel and get a little bit more reach out of your X106. So that's also an argument for not needing interchangeable lenses. Also, there's the built-in ND filter, which is hands down one of the best features. I wish all Fujifilm cameras had this, but I get that they can't put it in absolutely everything. But being able to just flick a switch and have an ND come on, as far as multimedia, that's like needed. To be able to go from photo to video if you're outside in a bright sun. So that is, probably one of the best selling points of the X106. So you will be missing out on that if you go with the X-T30 or the X-S20. Also the X106 has IBIS. Now the X-T30 doesn't have IBIS, but the X-S20 does. And so with that price difference, you have to really think about what you're gonna be using the camera for. If you just want a cute looking retro style camera, the X-T30 is gonna be it. If you're taking still photos and that's it, the X-T30 is gonna be it. Now, if you wanna do more video content and things like that, you might wanna look at the XS20 or even go ahead and just move on up to the X106. Let me know your opinions in the comments below, what you think about the hype over the X106, if it's even worth, because I know a lot of Fujifilm camera users like myself look at the X106 as a great camera, but I could do most of the same stuff on the X-T30. Like I'm actually very surprised that the X-T30 never caught on and got as popular. Does anyone know why that is? Cause it's like, it's the same kind of like, oh, look at this cute looking retro camera. It looks like a film camera. The X-T30 is that like fully. The only difference is it's not a rangefinder. So I don't know, a rangefinder's just more popular. I just, I'm curious, what do y'all think? So again, I think one of the best choices for you all is to grab an X-T30 or an X-S20. Or if you want to see more about the X-106, I'll leave some videos for y'all right here.